Moving on now, the former Socceroo Craig Foster has been announced as the new chair of the Australian Republic movement. Craig joins us live now. Craig, firstly, congratulations on your new role. I'm keen to learn your starting point here. As we know, any discussion about an Australian Republic needs to consider the model for that to happen. Under your predecessor, the ARM's model was for a republic involving a directly elected president with candidates chosen by federal, state and territory governments. Is that your view, uh, in your view, the best way to progress? Yeah, thanks. It's great to join you. Um, thanks for the opportunity to, to chat with you. Um, I think the starting point is also to recognise that, you know, we've got the voice coming up in the next year. So, uh, you know, it's a really sensitive balance that everyone needs to strike to allow, you know, enough room for those behind meeting Davis, Arnie Pat and everyone else to have that conversation with Australia and to also in that time uh, be able to engage with enough Australians ourselves around what we hope is a second referendum uh, in the second term, potentially, of the Albanese government. So that's great. Yeah, the, uh, you mentioned the model, uh, the, 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 I think, inspiring task and the challenge in the next 18 months, let's say, is to communicate what's called the Australian Choice Model to the Australian public. What the uh, research very clearly says, actually, is there's overwhelming majority support in Australia for an Australian head of state. So Aussies rightly are saying, look, whatever your view is of history, you may love it, you may hate it, everyone has has uh, a different views. Uh, but moving forward, um, you know, so many of us think that it's appropriate that we have Australians at the helm of the country in all of our top uh, positions. So the Australian Choice Model is, is what they call a hybrid model. And it's really about taking Australia through that. Again, the research says that people just aren't, aren't uh, you know, don't have a deep understanding of it. I guess there hasn't been the opportunities to communicate that over the, the couple of recent years. Uh, and to hear their concerns around that, uh, to articulate exactly what it's about, uh, you know, in the next uh, couple of years. Yeah, and the government has made it clear that this is a, a second term issue for sure. the Albanese government. When we get to that point, though, would you like to see another constitutional convention? Is that necessary? Do you think we need to have a plebiscite to be held first to determine what model should be adopted to try and avoid the confusion we saw during the last Republic referendum? Well, I certainly hope that it's not necessary. Uh, again, you know, it's really clear that um, Australians want to have this conversation and simply want more information. That's fantastic. Um, you know, that's that's perfectly appropriate and it's right. You know, we all want to feel comfortable with whatever changes are being contemplated. So to get that message across and to do so in a way that makes more or the majority of Australians, um, if not all Australians, are comfortable with what is being contemplated, uh, with what the implications are and, of course, to bring everyone along on what you know we think is a beautiful vision for both a reconciled uh, and truly independent uh, multicultural Australia. You know, in contemporary times, we think it's, uh, you know, it's time now to make this change. So, you know, uh, I guess the test will be, um, you know, the, the um, you know, how much we're able to bring that to the Australian public. Um, and how comfortable everyone around the country is feeling. So I spoke to Matt Thistlethwaite yesterday about his consultations that he's doing uh, in both regional and metropolitan areas. I'm hopeful of doing a lot of that next year. So, you know, I've just got into the chair, of course, only 48 hours ago. So we'll start putting that schedule together and what it looks like to be really engaging with people. And the beauty, of course, of both you know, the voice and, uh, you know, the Republic, Australian head of state, is that it crosses all boundaries you know it's it's for all of us and as i've kept saying in the last couple of days this is not craig foster movement this is not craig foster message um not even the arm this is the people's movement and everyone needs to be part of it everyone needs to speak up on it provide their opinions give their feedback and ultimately all of us feel comfortable to move forward so it's a really exciting next couple of years i'm very much looking forward to it well, Craig, no doubt we'll be hearing a lot more from you on this issue uh, over the next several years as uh, this movement gains steam after the voice referendum. Appreciate your time. Thank you so much. My pleasure.